Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas on the Honest Hearts DLC. Last we left off, we did a few things for Daniel, that way it would open the way for them to evacuate the Sorrows out of Zion. Now that we've finished that, we're going to go back and find Daniel and tell him what we've done. I don't know where it's leading me. I don't know why it's like way over here. It can't be in the cave, right? No? No, it's not in the cave. Where is he? Is he, like, on the other side there? I'm so confused. No, there's a bridge up there. Okay, I need to figure out how to get up there again. We got some more dead people here. It looks like this guy was a... Uh, ouch, crushed by a rock. That must have hurt. Probably had a bad time sleeping after that. Sorry, that was a bad joke. But, uh... Yeah, anyways, we're gonna talk to Daniel... And we're going to decide if we're evacuating the Sorrows or if we're going to fight the White Legs. We're going to evacuate the Sorrows, which leads to us still fighting Salt Upon Wounds, so it's not like it matters too much. And it also gives us a few extra quests to do. I think it's, uh, how do I get over there? Up here? Yeah, around here. Maybe? Down here? I guess down here. I don't know where I'm going. This place confuses me. There he is. Alright. What cave is this? Half Mouse Cave. That's... Okay. Never mind. I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? Uh, I checked on everything in the valley and got you the map. I appreciate it. Well, that's it. This is all we need. Now all that's left is to quietly pack up and try to get out of here without being noticed. That's assuming that Joshua won't try to stop me. And that he hasn't talked you into fighting the White Legs despite what I've said. Don't worry, I don't hold it against you. You're a... an outsider. Fighting seems like the practical solution. I'll tell you again. There's more at stake. Alright, so there's no going back here whether you decide... If they should fight or flee, your decision will set their destiny irrevocably in motion. You'll be unable to finish any remaining quests in Zion once you make your decision, so choose wisely. Well, uh, don't worry, I think leaving Zion is for the best. It may be. I hope it is. To tell the truth, if something goes wrong, more sorrows could die in the escape than in Joshua's proposed attack. Even knowing that, it's a risk I have to take. With your help and Joshua's, even if we're attacked, we can defend the sorrows and escape. We'll be traveling at night in small groups across the valley. With luck, the White Legs won't know what's happened until the next morning. But if the White Legs realize what's happening, Joshua and I will need you to help us escape. Don't hold back. I promise you, the White Legs won't. Once our path is clear, I'll give you everything you need to get back to the Mojave. But the Pine Creek Tunnel must be collapsed behind us. It's the only way to delay the White Legs' pursuit long enough for us to get a head start. Good luck, and may God be with us. Alright, so you do lose Waking Cloud as a companion at this point, so you can't get her or Follows Chalk for this. But we do get a third companion for this. He doesn't work quite like a companion. He will be with us during the duration. We made it to the tunnel by now, but there are sorrows all over the valley. We have to help them and get Daniel out of here. All right, let's go. Right. And we now have Joshua Graham as our companion. Now, like I said, he doesn't work like a normal companion. Uh, I didn't think he did, at least. No, uh, thanks. Yeah, no, he can't trade stuff in his inventory or anything. But uh, he's a pretty skilled guy. Now with that, you can cut straight to the Pine Creek Tunnel and finish the quest. Or you can do the optional stuff here. We have optional, retake the bridge. We have prisoners of war. And we have de uh, sanctity of the dead. Now I think we're going to start with prisoners of war. We can either kill the White Legs at Ranger Substation Osprey. And then we can release the Sorrow Prisoners at the station. But let's go ahead and do that. That's going to be right next to the uh, 
actual ranger station. Also, I forgot to mention, while all these quests are active, you can't fast travel. Which kinda sucks. I actually forgot about it until that moment. So, uh... I guess you can't jump up here either, which sucks. There we go. Just gotta fight my way up. Uh, the substation is up here. I don't think I can get up that wall. Here we go. This is a good pass up. Uh, we'll probably go ahead and kill them all here and release the prisoners. Go ahead and do both. I see one red on the map there. There's not too many of them at this substation, so it should be pretty easy to kill. Looks like we're dropping back down. That's going to hurt. No, it won't. All right. Make our way up here and around these rocks. Maybe. That's the ranger station there that we couldn't fast travel to. It should be just up this road. Oh, hello. Looks like that guy poisoned us a little bit, but Joshua Graham took him out. Good, good. Continue on up the hill here. We see some red and yellow on the map. Jesus Christ, I don't need that happening when I'm about to do battle. Jesus Christ! Can't see anything. Now they got me backed up in a corner here. Alright, there's one more hiding over here. I need... Graham to take out the melee guys. Alright, so that's the optional. They're all dead. Now let's head up here. Are the prisoners not up here? We got a duffel bag. Where are the prisoners? Oh, of course, they're in the cage here. I'm sure uh, one of those guys probably had a key on him. Maybe. I would think one of them had a key on them. But I'm not seeing a key anywhere. Maybe the key was up here. I don't know. I'm only looking for the key because that's a, a hard lock. Which I'm sure a lot of people can't really pick a hard lock. So I want to make sure to show the key off and there it is it's right up the top in that toolbox there and there we go that's that quest all done the sorrows are freed let's move to the next one sanctity of the dead we can either kill the white legs desecrating the burial ground or talk to the sorrows at the burial ground It's going to be over here. Where does the third one take place? Retake the bridge. That takes place right on the bridge there before the thing. Okay. So yeah, we'll do the Sanctity of the Dead next. It looks like the best way to go here is from the fishing lodge. And we can't fast travel. That's kind of annoying. That is just a little bit annoying. Alright, so drop down here. Normally, I'm all about taking roads as you travel, but when you can't fast travel, you gotta make up some time, so. Uh, Cueva Garache is another cave that we'll have to go into later. It has some of the uh, Father in the Cave notes in it. Go ahead and cross over the river here. 
Is Graham behind me? Uh, he'll catch up. He'll catch up. He should, at least. I'm not seeing him catch up. Oh, well. We also need to rediscover that damn caterpillar mound. The game crashed, and it forgot that I discovered it. And I forgot that I discovered it, and I didn't rediscover it. And I already discovered it, so I want it discovered, damn it. Still not seeing Graham catch up to us. Hmm. We got a white leg up there. A white leg here. It'd be nice if Graham was here. He could take out... Nope, never mind. You're down on the ground here. I can kill you. Oh, what, what, what's going on now? What's going on now? Oh, we got one running off there. I don't think this is even where I'm supposed to be at yet. And we just got some white legs harassing possibly the guys we need to talk to. Oh my. Why are you not dead? And didn't I just walk up and hit that guy? It's the poison that's gonna kill me here. That poison is doing a number on me. I think one of them, they should be carrying anti-venom, right? No, no anti-venom. No anti-venom. Oh well. We'll just uh, continue on here. We're The poison wore off anyway, so we're good. No, it didn't. Come on. I still don't see Graham anywhere. Looks like he's ditched me. That's even better. Alright, so we can either kill the... Uh, come on, dude. It's just annoying, is what it is. It doesn't do in too much damage. It's just annoying. But yeah, we can either kill the white legs over there or talk to these guys. You friend of sorrows, yes? Oh, that's together fun. Smash white legs that defile holy places, yes? Just get out of here, dude. You're no match for him. Because you are friend to sorrows, very well. We go. Angry ghost will do for white legs. And we're just doing that the easy way. We're telling them to get out of here. I would really like for uh, Graham to come back and help me out, but it looks like he's not gonna. So let's uh, go and head to the third and final place. Oh, there he is. He's trying to make his way over. We're going to retake the bridge here. Which again, I wish I could just fast travel up, but I can't. It's really annoying, honestly. Really annoying. Dude, you guys are running straight into a white leg. Like, look at that. He, he's shooting you down. I mean, it's 2v1. You guys can handle that, definitely. I'm not helping you. This is why they need the help. Because uh, they can't do anything otherwise. They're almost as useless as the NCR. That's the bridge I need to retake. Is there an optional objective here? No, I just need to defeat the white legs holding the bridge. Can I jump across here? I'm gonna try. Oh my god, look at that parkour. Look at that parkour. Alright, so here they are here. I'm probably gonna get my ass beat by poison again. But oh well. Oh, look. Look at these melee guys. Are they all melee? Come on! There we go. 
between the poison and them just blocking everything, it's honestly really annoying. But that's that taken care of. Let's uh, finish flight from Zion. Fight your way to the Pine Creek Tunnel. And it's going to be just down this road here. We're going to meet Salt Upon Wounds himself. Deal with more poison. It, like I said, dude, it's it, the poison doesn't even damage you that much. It's just annoying. It's super annoying. I do like how the flame on my sword goes a little blue for a second. That's kind of cool. Alright, we got more up here. Both melee, of course. Alright, that's two more down. Better heal up. Or this poison kills me. And we got one more here. Did he just throw a grenade at me? No, he probably threw a spear at me. Head up here. Where is fucking Joshua? Jesus Christ. What a useless old man. What a useless old man. Alright, go ahead and get these level up points here. Alright, done there. Now let's uh, go meet Salt Pond Wounds. He should be up here somewhere. I don't know. We got more white legs to kill first. Looks like these guys have guns. I can't see anything with this damn poison. Alright, they're done. Let's deal with Salt Pond Wounds. You should be right up here. He's still way back at the bridge. What the hell is he doing? Alright, here's the man himself. Salt Pond Wounds. Foolish, Yardman. You best white legs, you think. By my spear, you die. Wait. There's no reason this has to end in bloodshed. You speak. I listen. Kill you. Maybe I not. Maybe. Uh, your power is broken. You cannot help to prevail here. Leave this valley in peace. Or, I've already crushed your warriors. Retreat now and rebuild your tribe. Or die in obscurity. I'm not going to call them weak prey. Let's uh yeah, let's go with the second one. I go, but rebuild my tribe and come we back stronger than before. Okay, they're gonna be gone when you come back, so it doesn't matter to me. You'll come back to nothing. Not a whole lot of sorrows here, gonna be honest. Alright, Daniel, we're here. Should I wait for Joshua Graham to get here? He's uh slowly trucking along. Let's wait an hour. That way he can get his ass up here. No? Jesus Christ. He's fucking stuck over there. He is fucking stuck. What a useless old man. He should be tossed back into the river where he belongs. Jesus Christ. We go. Uh, okay. Go back to Great Salt. Oh, okay. We, we went over this. You need to get out of here. Go home, buddy. Go home. We go. Go home. You can go. I, I get it, buddy. Okay. Well, uh, we don't have Joshua here, but we got salt upon wounds, right? All right, Daniel, what are we doing? Please, have you done everything you can for the sorrows? Are they all accounted for? I mean, for the most part, yeah. You've done more than I could have ever hoped for. Thank you. And may God protect you for all of your days. Goodbye. And just like that, he just leaves. Joshua Graham leaves your company. You lose his perk, which, uh, I think it had to do with the 45 auto pistols that he uses that I've never used before, so I can't tell you much about his perk. 
And uh, Daniel gives us a detonator that sets off the C4 around Pine Creek Tunnel. That way we can collapse the passage and prevent them from being followed. We're standing pretty close here. Um, do I want to back up a bit? Oh, okay. I guess I'm safe here. Yeah, I don't know. That seemed a little close. involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. After the White Legs drove the sorrows from Zion, they celebrated by destroying all traces of the valley's former inhabitants. They appealed to the Legion for assimilation, but were denied. Their failure to eradicate the new Canaanites in Grand Staircase and farther up the Colorado had not gone unnoticed. The White Legs made a half-hearted effort to find new Canaanites, but were driven off by dead horses trained in the ways of Joshua Graham. The White Legs lost all hope of joining the Legion and disintegrated into a number of petty raiding bands, leaving Zion Valley a polluted sister. Daniel succeeded in leading the Sorrows out of Zion, as he had wanted to do from the start. The courier protected the sorrows during the evacuation, ensuring that most reached their destination unharmed. Over the weeks and months to come, Daniel would see to the sorrows resettlement in Grand Staircase. Their adjustment to their new home was not without difficulty, but eventually, the sorrows came to accept the loss of Zion. Having helped Daniel and the sorrows escape from Zion, the dead horses returned to their home at Dead Horse Point. The tribe continued to learn from the new Canaanites, and over many years built a flourishing community along the banks of the Colorado. Though the tribe's bond would endure, it was Joshua Graham's legend the dead horses would revere, not the tenets of new Canaan's faith. Already weakened by several seasons of bad trading, the Happy Trails Caravan Company was initially discouraged by the results of its expedition, the fate of New Canaan, and the evacuation of the Sorrows from Zion made the prospect of trading seem fruitless. When Daniel told his family about the exploits of Happy Trails employee the Courier, however, New Canaan decided to repay the company's kindness. Twice per year, New Canaanites made the dangerous journey west to trade with a company in the city of New Reno. The Happy Trails Caravan Company could not survive on such trading alone. But the new Canaanites' generosity made tough times go easier. Follows Chuck took the courier's words to heart and decided that he would behold the sights and sounds of distant lands with his own eyes and ears. After returning to Dead Horse Point, he quarreled with his family and other tribe members about his ambitions. One morning, they awoke to discover that Follows Chalk had set off alone, westward, into the wilderness. He was never seen again. Waking Cloud was distraught when she learned of her husband's death, but took comfort from her tribe and the compassion of the new Canaanites. She forgave Daniel for having concealed her husband's fate from her, and learned to accept his fate. When her grief faded, she took a husband from the Dead Horse tribe. At her bidding, he stayed close to home. After leading the Sorrows from their home in Zion to safety in Grand Staircase, Daniel continued to wonder if he'd made the right choice. He spent his life evangelizing the beliefs of his people to a new generation of young men and women, as his ancestors had for centuries before him. He was happy with his family. But for the rest of his life, there were nights when he awoke with sadness to find he had been dreaming of Zion. And with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. And there's that. That is the Honest Hearts main quest line done. I was going to set you back here, back at the Northern Passage. Except now you have a footlocker here. With a bunch of new, uh, unique stuff in it. 
Now uh, you have a light shining in darkness, a unique 45 auto pistol. You have Chalk's headdress, Daniel's hat and outfit, Joshua Graham's armor. You have Salt Upon Wound's helmet and his power fist. And you have a scripture here. I don't know if you can read the scripture or not. I don't think it's in the aid tab. Yeah, no, it's in miscellaneous. Maybe? Is it in our notes? No, it's not in our notes either. What? Where is it? Scripture, scripture, miscellaneous. There it is, scripture. Oh, we just dropped it on the ground. Yeah, I don't think it actually does anything. It's just something you can carry around with you. Now, at this point, you can still explore Zion Valley. But there's not going to be any more NPCs or anything in it. No more dead horses, no more sorrows, no more uh, Joshua Graham or uh, Daniel. They're all gone now. That being said, though, there are still a few locations that I want to explore. I want to learn the story about the father in the cave. And I want to get all of his uh, survivalist caches. So we're probably going to work on that next episode. We aren't quite done here ne yet. But uh, that'll be then. Until then, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.